Javed Akhtar sir told me that after Amitabh Bachchan, I'm seeing this kind of performance after years. We are such a diversified country that something or the other can offend anybody. No religion is so small or so vulnerable that by saying one or two lines on it, it gets offended. Everyone joining us today is Pratik Gandhi, the star of Scam 1992. Thank you very much for having me. You're a household name, you know. Everyone's watched Scam 1992. What does it feel like? How has life changed post Scam? Life has changed a lot. I mean, people, the way people looked at me changed. The way they, you know, approach me as an actor has changed. So I guess their perception towards me has changed completely. And I don't think I have changed. at all but now i guess uh, they are more confident you know to mount a project with me so i'm expecting interesting characters coming my way interesting scripts coming my way and I'm, i'm looking forward to work with you know experienced and good directors from whom i can also learn has anything interesting come your way and are you are you still approaching it or will you still be as um, picky with a project or are you going to you know do it because you you'll get the experience of being with a director or a certain actor that you've probably dreamt of working with no so i think uh, initially in fact after the scam lot of people told me with lot of affection with lot of care for me uh, you know that now we are next move will decide your career path you have to be extremely careful for whatever you do the next and all so initially for few days i also thought that now i should be careful but then i thought that what is the process of selection there is no thumb rule you know nobody can tell me that what to do what not to do because i think differently and the way i think nobody can right. so i guess then i realized that my thought process or my you know my selection if i may say it is going to be the same i i am going to uh, go with my gut feel if i like the script if it is challenging me enough to create that character what was that one oh my god moment that you had that you know somebody like a like a director or an actor you've already known probably reached out to you after watching scam because i was watching these interviews and uh, shabana azmi sort of mentioned your name and said that you were the best performance she saw in 2020 first call that i got was from uh, javed akhtar and shabana azmi they called me they took my number from hansel sir and then they called me and i could not believe my myself that i just got a call from them the way they spoke to me the way they encouraged me the way they appreciated me it gives me a you know it, it actually fuels me up sabana ji actually told me that i am after ages that i have seen a man on screen she said that you are here to stay and i'm i'm so glad that you did something like this and javed akhtar sir told me that after ramita bachchan i'm seeing this kind of performance after years but that's such a big compliment apart from them like boni kapoor uh, she, he also called me uh, uh, ranveer kapoor messaged me such a warm welcome that i got in the mainstream what do you find easier is is being on theater in theater which you know has been your home ground for so many years is that easy when you're in front of the camera is that easier what comes to you naturally as an actor i enjoy all all the mediums equally uh, but uh, theater is my you know my first love so i you know the moment i'm on stage i i feel a different energy altogether and theater keeps you grounded theater keeps you disciplined that that gives me that kick also that gives me that finesse also aapne mohan's masala pehle bhi stage par kara hai theater pehle kiya aur is baar jab lockdown ke baad aapne approach kiya script ko was there any difference i think i am performing this play after almost uh 10 months and this play that i had been performing since 2015 16 i i started reading the script again i actually rehearsed like i'm going to perform for the first time i had the same butterflies in my stomach i actually started recollecting my initial rehearsal days and all but is doing a monologue is it difficult this is one of the uh, most difficult you know act for an actor especially uh, in our kind of theater which we call a minimalistic theater you know so we don't have major sets or major jing bang lights or jing bang music which can support which can fill up that entire space now you know pratik you almost reached 1 million followers on instagram you have this huge following you have those brand endorsements also coming your way more people know you are you wary of what you say like a popular person you would imagine would be i have always been true to what i feel and that's what i say but yeah i mean you never want to you know hurt anybody or you never want to do anything that you know generally because now we, suddenly you are uh, being heard by so many people these are all by products number of followers 
and media attention what i con- want to concentrate is on my main product by products are any which is going to be there with all due respect to social media i just treat it as a tool right to reach out to people and that is it i don't take it so seriously we've seen a lot of web series release and lately we've seen a lot of discussion around them as well um say for instance very recently now tandav so itself embroiled in a huge controversy where uh, you know mohammad zishan sort of uh, took to uh, the supreme court wrote a petition and said that you know why are we being um, you know why are fir fir's being launched against us so um, one of the reasons that uh, supreme court sort of presented the argument that Supre- supreme court presented was that you you are an actor you signed the contract you knew what it was going to you can't hurt sentiments um uh, do you think it's limiting um to your artistic freedom that's a very very tricky space because if if i mean this is the sentence then it's a very tricky space because i guess then supreme court or the all the authorities should uh, read all the scripts and then pass the script and then only we should go on floor to shoot this if yeah. that's the case because it is very difficult for me to guess that with this sentence somebody is going to get offended or with this scene how do i guess it and how do i gauge it because there are so many things we are such a diversified country that something or the other can offend anybody agar mujhe show mein kisi ko bolna hai ke abhi mote idhar aa now that's the character now suddenly i can be anybody can file an fir that i'm body shaming right right maine script padhi thi mujhe nahi mujhe bol dena chahiye tha ki main such sentence nahi bolunga but if that's the character how do i portray i think actor's job is to be true to the character to be to to add value to the script then in that case i think the, jitne bhi actors hain those all the actors those who have performed you know rape uh, scenes when they were convicted and all so they should be also matlab unke liye bhi to fir jail ho jani chahiye thi ki tumne aisa kyun kiya tumko script pad leni chahiye thi script mein to tha aisa likha hua so how do i gauge and my only question is that how do i understand that what is going to offend whom fir haathi aur cheeti ke joke ka bhi matlab nahi banega because that is also offending right आपने एक एक हाथी के लिए क्यों ऐसा हाथी को क्यों डम से बना दिया आपने चीटी को क्यों स्मार्ट बना दिया आपने हु टोल्ड यू हाथी इज़ डम एवरीथिंग कैन बी ऑफेंडिंग मतलब मैंने कैरेक्टर का नाम चिंटू रखा है उसको बुद्धू बनाया तो कल को जितने भी चिंटू होंगे सारे आ जाएंगे कि हमारे नाम को क्यों आपने ऐसे यूज किया एंड हाउ डू यू आई मीन वॉट यू डू देर इज नो एंड टू इट इट साउंड सो स्टूपिड and for my religion i would say because i love my religion i love i, I think my, no religion is so small or so vulnerable that by saying one or two lines on it it gets offended religion is above all these things yeah right is matlab isse kisi ka kya lena dena hai yaar it's a story there are villains there are heroes there are this kind of protagonists there are this kind of people and that makes the story is what we are talking about फिर तो जितनी भी फिल्मों में पुलिस को विलन बनाया सारी फिल्में बैन होनी चाहिए सारे लोगों को जेल में डाल दिया होता अब तक जितनी फिल्मों में पॉलिटिशियंस को विलन बताया है उनको भी जेल में डाल दिया होता अब तक थैंक यू सो मच फॉर दिस लवली चैट प्रति थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच